here you have uh, the Duchess of Cornwall um, moved to tears uh, about a refu the refugee appeal. Yes, uh, the, the Daily Mail have had a rather successful appeal here, the two, two and a half million pounds raised in, in barely a week, uh, which is probably one of the fastest growing uh, newspaper appeals in history. Um, and uh, Camilla, uh, the Duchess of Cornwall, uh, went to the, uh, the, the Ukraine Cathedral in London. There's a, a, a community of about 70,000 Ukrainians in the UK. And she was moved to tears by this and so moved that she has, has made a substantial donation of her own uh, to, to this appeal. Um, and I think she speaks for a lot of people. She's handled herself really well um, since, since she moved into the, to, uh, the front line role. I think the real praise things. really goes to the people who donate and the people who organise and the people who take on board all the, um, what would you call it, uh, you know, the repealing for sanitary products and supplies underwear and, and supplies and things, and then get all that out there, the logistics mm. of all of that's amazing. It never, it never ceases to amaze me when, when you get a crisis like this, how, how the British public pull really together and how, and how they get things out, out on the front line. Yeah. Um, Despite this being astonishing. some of the most challenging times yes. for a lot of families as well, you well, see exactly. some of the most pressured financial families doing the most. Now, I absolutely know that some of those supplies aren't making it where they need to. They're getting to borders like Poland and not being able to make it through. But the fact is they're getting to some people that need them urgently and desperately. There's always something we can do. But I just feel most of us just feel depleted that we just read this onslaught of news. And, and we are so grateful for the journalists reporting the truth in a war where we actually don't always hear accurate facts. Yeah, and look, we had Kesnia Donakova, resident of Kiev, in tears on the programme about half an hour ago, yes. uh, absolutely yes. unable to speak at times. And, you know, just you'd have to have a heart of stone not to be moved um, by stories like hers.